Hello everybody, um, I want to show you guys my baseball glove that I've had since, I want to say my 18th or 19th birthday, I forget exactly what year it was. It was also the year that Pearl Jam Yield came out and my sister Tracy bought me the CD of it um, for my birthday and I, it's like my favorite Pearl Jam album. I think it was 1998, something like that. Okay. So this is the glove. Now, I've been told by people that don't know anything about anything that this is a softball glove. It is not, it is not. And look right there, there's an MLB logo, Wilson. Um, I think somewhere else it says it too, but I'm not sure where. Basically what this is, is an outfielder's glove. And a pitcher could use it too, because sometimes pitchers would be wise to use a big glove to be able to, um, and it has like this big pocket here to catch the ball. Say, big pocket to catch the ball. And it's called a Wilson Pro Staff. So it had, I like to put my finger out like that, and kind of like go like that and catch the ball. It's pretty um, broken in. I put, um, I put like, like some kind of oil on it, some kind of stuff to make it, um, you rub it all over the glove, you wrap it up, you put some uh, balls in there, some baseballs, and then you wrap it up with a uh, um, rubber band, and it breaks in pretty good. I did that, and I've had a ton of catches with it over the years. And it is a good glove. It is really good for, like, if someone throws the ball, like, too high for you, it's just exactly why it's an outfielder's glove. You just reach up, basically, like that, and you can catch it. Another thing it's really good at because of the pocket, if someone throws it low, you can basically scoop it up really low. Or if someone throws it to the side, like that, see to the side you can catch it either way uh, it's gonna be um, you're gonna be able to catch errant throws if you're you know trying to catch a ball someone through really badly so it, it, it's a really good um, outfielders glove and and also um, I think um, back in the day outfielders glove and pitchers glove um, pitchers can basically hold this thing up and they're gonna catch anything they close their eyes. They're gonna catch anything with this. It's like a vacuum, um, with the with the pocket and everything. And I saw back in the day. I want to say like the early two thousands, so like maybe two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two, somewhere around there. Um, I want to say Greg Maddox might have had a glove like this. I could be wrong on the pitcher, but I remember there was a, a pitcher on the Braves that had this glove, the same exact glove, that, and he used to. Like basically hold it like Andy Pettit, kind of, you know, do the whole thing. But yeah, good glove. And on the inside, I don't know if you could get a glimpse of this. There is some kind of fur, like, I don't know if it's rabbit fur or something. It's some kind of fur in there. So it makes it nice and soft when you put your hand in, in the glove. So this is definitely not a softball glove. It is definitely a pitcher's or outfielder's baseball MLB glove. This is a really good glove. Uh, Wilson Pro Staff, uh, got it for my birthday, my dad got it for me, uh, I don't know if my mom bought it for me as well, but my dad definitely bought it for me for my, I think either my 18th or 19th birthday. So this, this was a special gift for me. I also got a fishing pole that year, a black one with a yellow line that I had for years. And then finally, we were fishing uh, in Maryland where we used to live at this lake called Color Lake in, uh, in Frederick, Frederick, Maryland. And uh, we used to catch a whole bunch of sunfish there and trout and stuff like that. There was carp, I think, in, or whatever you want to call it, like little carps and stuff, but they were too t tough to catch for us. We, I don't know how to catch those ones. Got to trick them somehow, or some people say they're like cheese or something, or bread, or I don't know. They're, they're tough to catch. But we used to catch like trout. We used to catch, um, we used to catch, uh, sunfish, stuff like that. 
um, bass. There were bass in there. And what, <coughs> excuse me, one day when we were fishing, my old black fishing pole with the yellow line that I had for years, I, I, I caught tons of fish in Florida with it when I took a trip to Florida. And it, it broke, it like snapped in half. So I wasn't fishing that day, the rest of the day. Uh, my dad said, oh, you could use my pole. I'm like, no, no, I only use my pole. So I'm not gonna fish the rest of the day. I'll just sit on the bench here and watch you guys fish. So that's what I did. I, I did catch a couple of fish before that. So it wasn't a total loss, but, um, so that year I got a fishing pole and a official MLB pitcher's outfielder and outfielder's glove, pro staff. I don't even know if they make these anymore. If anyone could like comment at the bottom and tell me, do they make Wilson pro staffs anymore? Uh, whatever. So anyway, I got to get ready for the Yankee game. We just beat uh, Toronto last night. It was a tough one. I, it, it, like I said it in my last video, or one of my last videos, it was a 9-2 lead. We ended up winning at 9-8. <laughs> kind of got tight in the end there. But uh, anyway, uh, talk to you guys later. And may the force be with you. God bless. And let's go Yankees. And hey, the NFL draft is soon. Giants. Giants, baby. Let's do something. Let's get a quarterback. Okay? Let's get a quarterback, man. We need a quarterback. Or if we can't get that, maybe an, off maybe an offensive line. Maybe defense. I'm Maybe a wide receiver. I don't know. But I really want to see a quarterback. Either Drake May or J.J. McCarthy. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Don't want to go on too long here. And may the force be with you. Talk to you later.